Bitches, we're back for Resident Evil. What's good, everybody? Long time no see. And now it is time for the Mansion Spectacular. I'm glad everybody came back. I missed them. Okay, I kind of want to be really, um... What's the word I'm looking for here? Honest. <laughs> uh, anal. I want to be very anal with how we're going to work the item box. Let me get these in a nice order here. Yes. But I'm pretty sure everybody knows. They've they've watched all your Resident Evils. They, they kind of got a good <laughs> understanding that you kind of are anal. <laughs> I'm actually switching my style up. Before, I would have the weapons and healing items up and then all key items down. But now I'm going to have the weapons up, health down down and then key items below that Ooh. so we are just set player uh i think we're actually good yes because i do want the fuel canteen um first thing we want to go get a lighter because uh remember we killed this one zombie we murked his ass mm -hmm. now when you kill a zombie they will become a crimson head there's not a particular time like timetable for that. It's kind of like The Walking Dead. Like you know how sometimes they get bit and they're a zombie in five minutes. Motherfucker. Other times they get bit and they're a zombie in two know, hours. Yeah, ten days. Hmm. Oh, oh, they are just talking. Yeah, this is okay. So I'm gonna go stand in this corner right here. Not really hiding there. <laughs> no! <laughs> what were you expecting up. to happen? Well, guess what? Looks like we're gonna have to blast away. Uh, the one good thing here is that they are all gonna be pretty much right on top of each other. Yeah. We'll use a dagger right here. So, I should be able to lighter these guys up. Alright, are you guys done? Of course. I think they're done. Oh, right, you've got the, uh... Haha. -ha. Actually, yeah. I might be able to light these guys on fire with uh, one use of the fuel. I'm gonna be, like, super, super thrilled. This door should be locked, right? Yes. Oh, there's there's no knob on the door. I'm gonna kick that. Why, why would there not be... So, if there, wait, if there's, a no if there's no knob on the door, then the door should be open. Is that how that works? Yeah, because there's nothing in there in the door, the actual like door frame to keep it closed. Well, I guess I, I must confess I don't really know about the workings of doors. Like, okay, so there's no knob. Yeah. So and so like the that little piece that sticks out. Exactly. That oh. usually goes in the door frame, so the door should be open. You 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 should just be able to push the door open. You see? Do you see now why I bring you along <laughs> with me for these? <laughs> now you see. <laughs> okay, so here's the dumbest part about this game. So, basically, <laughs> good job, guys. Uh, one of the bosses of this place, he needed to hide something. So it's like, okay, so let's try and find like a really good hiding spot. He gets really lazy, and he decides that he's going to hide this thing in the dog collar of one of these dogs. Mm -hmm. That's where he's going to put this little hidden thing. Wow, this file is longer than I remember. Yeah. You're the only person I trust, blah, blah, blah. John Tolman. Uh, when you do your comic for Resident Evil, you're going to name... Are you going to name Latrell or Tyshawn? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a reference to... Tyshawn. <laughs> So I've been on my really crazy Yu-Gi-Oh kick lately. Wait, I've missed. Hold on. Oh, there we go. I've been on my crazy Yu-Gi-Oh kick lately, and uh, Manny's obviously been driven crazy by this every mm, day. Yeah, you know. Every day Yu-Gi-Oh. Yami Malik and uh, you Okura. know, see, he is listening. Yami Malik, yeah, he's too real, man. And the Millennium, uh, what's the thing? I don't know. Well, there's seven Millennium items, items so yeah. <laughs> It's the watch and the whistle. Am I am I close? No, there's there's the necklace, the rod. <laughs> Come on, you remember the rod? Yeah, the rod yeah, Are you yeah, serious? Yeah. Wait a minute. Okay, so 
we went okay so there is a, a handle on one side but not on the other because <laughs> we just that was that that door we went through um and that last file was explaining to us about um the usage of herbs but we already know all about that herb usage all right so now let's go ahead and start burning these bodies hopefully this will burn both of these guys right here Ooh, trophy no, it looks like it only burned one. That's a goddamn shame. Um, I need to make sure to burn all these guys. But we are on normal mode, so we should be able to burn, like, all of the zombies that we need to. Without, like, any big problems. Shouldn't the house be on fire? Shh. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna actually go back up. Oh, fuck. Okay. Let me just take this slow, because first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to run in here and grab some more kerosene, because our little uh, container yeah. can only hold uh, two, two, yeah, yeah. two doses. Um, I don't want to play around and let that guy turn into a crimson head. So let me refuel that. Do I want to put anything away? No. Um, we're going to go burn him, because there is a trick, like I mentioned, I tried to do it, where... You, if you get, like, two zombies to die in the exact spot... You can burn one for the... I see what you Yeah, mean. yeah. Um, but I... Even though they were... They literally were overlapping, but it wasn't close enough to count. Burn two for the price of one? Yeah. Um, there should be enough kerosene to get us through, though. I'm not worried. Okay. So now, let us head up here. Well, I should mention, we still have not taken any damage in the game... But I have now used two separate defensive items, so I do need to be a little careful on this. Yeah, the, uh, the daggers, right? Yeah. Because mm. the dogs in this game are really annoying, and I should try and save most defensive items for the dogs. Okay, wow. Here we go. Okay, so this is interesting. So we put this uh, wooden mount on uh, above the fireplace here, and then when we light the fireplace... Hey, it's just like the other one. Remember, remember the other Resident Evils. The uh, they did the same thing. You had to burn the painting above the uh, fireplace. Yeah, in Resident Evil Two, and that got us the um, uh, red uh, a red jewel. Leon got it. Mm -hmm. All right, so here is the second floor map. Now, when the area is in green, oh, that... that's cool. Yeah, hundred percent uh, items. Yep, that's dope. Uh, and then we see. Oh, because I left a green herb in that one hallway. That's why it's red. Okay. Okay, so now let's go get the shotgun. That's, like, pretty important. Just pour um, yourself a glass of whiskey. <laughs> some name. JD. Yeah. So, do you think Future, does he <laughs> prefer... <laughs> Shout out, you, shout out to all the future uh, future fans out there. Oh, future yeah, I'm sure all the future fans are watching this right now. I'm pretty sure they If are. you're a fan of future, please, please comment and let me know. I need to... No. And if you are a fan, let us know what your favorite future song is. <laughs> if you are a fan, make sure you do hashtag future hive. Yeah. <laughs> then, if you want to get real creative, take a picture and then of you dabbing. <laughs> but but wait, future is not like the dabbing. That's not him, right? It's it's DJ Esco who is DJ Esco did the dabbing thing. Yeah, he did it. So it is a future thing. Then. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it wasn't God future. Damn him. It. it wasn't future himself. But it, it counts. Future's, yeah, it counts. future's DJ. It counts. DJ Esco. Do I need? I don't need the lighter. Nah, I don't. So we'll put that lighter away. I am gonna bring the fuel canteen because we can fill it up. Uh, the dog. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so we're gonna go grab the shoddy. Blah, 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 blah. We're gonna come back around. Let's put the dog whistle away. Okay. Dog whistle. So the goal for today I mentioned, we want to get the armor key. Um, There's four different keys. I really hope this doorknob doesn't break. It's gonna be annoying if it does. This is probably the dumbest part about the remake, is they made it to where... You can only go through this door a couple of times before the doorknob will actually break. And so then you can't use that door anymore. And you gotta go the long way around. Which is very dangerous. There's tons of enemies. Okay, we're gonna head into here. Does it 
Do you have an idea like how many times that'll happen? I mean, how many times you can go through the door before breaking or not? I don't know. I, I, it might be three, which is bad because I've already used two. So that means I've only got one more walk through that door before it's done. Okay, so I think there's only... We got an ink ribbon. Oh, there might be a dagger over here. Oh, yeah, there it is. I see it. Hey, get those daggers. And then here we go, shiny right, boy. It's like mounted on the wall. Uh-oh. You saw that, though. Why did it go down? Um. Well, okay, so when we pick the shotgun up, those little uh, hooks. Yeah. What are, that, that's all we call it, right? Just a hook? Yeah. So those hooks go up. Now, what this is, is this is a trap. Now, because we took the shotgun, those hooks go up. We walk into here, and then both doors lock, and the ceiling is dropping down to crush us. Now, if we were Chris, this is instant death. We're dead. There's nothing you could do. But Jill actually has an out, thanks to Barry. Oh, God. What did I do now? Wesker! Barry! Help! Jill! You in there? No. Barry? Get me out of here! The door's jammed! Stand back! <clears throat> Grab my hand! Uh. <sighs> Oof. This part right here in the original Resident Evil is where the corniest line ever. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad they took that out. Um, <laughs> Barry. That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. <laughs> oh my god. Really? Thanks. Well, I Barry, love sandwiches of women. Didn't you room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? Huh. I just had something I wanted to check. Hmm. Anyway. We should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Hmm. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. All right, what a what a what a, what a great what a great guy. All right, so let's uh, let's uh. All right, so now we're gonna go grab some herbs. Let's, uh, yeah, we're gonna future hive it all day as I grab herbs. <laughs> uh, do you, so now, I know you're new to the future game. Like, what's your future, favorite future song? I don't have a favorite future song. Uh, I don't know about it's that. It's none. Huh? My favorite future song is none of them. Oh, okay. That's hurtful, man. I'm hurt. Oh, god damn it, man. These fucking dogs. Here we go. Boop. Oh, boy. Okay, hop off my nuts, please. Peter. No, man. Fuck Pete. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Get off me. Get off me. Hop off me. I'm red caution already? God. He was only for a minute, too. Yeah, these dogs, man. They don't play... Oh, great. So I'm glad I came here. I almost am tempted to bust a shot out and just say, hold my dick, but nah. Too soon. Here, let me fill up. Back up off me. Back up off me. Uh, yes. No, no, no for real. No, back no, up no. off back me. Back up off me. <sighs> Get off, bitch! Alright, quick, grab that herb, Jill. We out of here. We going. We running. Oh, oh! Juke moves! Juke moves! Oh, I'm like Barry Sanders, boy! Get out of here! Ugh. I, you remember me mentioning how dogs are the worst in this game? It's just... Ugh. 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 Circle back. Who is it that push a T that... Ugh. Yeah. Like, does that, like, sort of thing? Then he did the woo! Then Ric Flair got mad. Ric Flair got mad? Yeah, because, I mean, Ric Flair was the first person to do it. Right, right, right. And then, you know, Pusha kept doing it in his songs, but it's like, it's like his signature, you know what I mean? But I remember, um, he, Pusha T said that in, um, the Don't Like Remix, where he said, like Ric Flair, Ric, like Ric Flair. Yeah, but yeah. So he did give him a shot. Oh, wow. So it's Ric Flair enough. is a butthurt little bitch then. It wasn't enough. Okay. Okay, Ric Flair, let me just give you all my royalty checks then. You cock boy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's uh, put all this shit away. Man, I'm annoyed that I took that damage, but it's the dogs, man. There's not really much you could do. 
Uh, I think I'm gonna hold on to the shotgun because I'm gonna have to fight some more dogs. Right. And I'm just not even gonna play that shit. Like, it's just like, fuck it. We're gonna use the shotgun. Like, I don't care. Because that dogs... Man, just fuck dogs. Fuck dogs. You know what, dogs? Here's what dogs can go do. Oh, boy. They can go fuck themselves. Would you pick dog or cat? Well, I don't... Listen, cats are not biting my goodies right now. <laughs> I, I didn't just lose half of my health to a cat. Oh, you forgot something from the item box. No, I'm good. Your dirty sprite. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't say D's nuts that time. Oh, I you forgot these nuts. See, that would have been funnier. Mm. Y you know what? You're losing your powers a little bit. Okay, there's another zombie, isn't there? Right here. Yep, yep, yep. Peace, motherfucker. Oh, nice try. Dirty spray forever. Oh my god, I gotta get used to these uh, when the camera switches on me. Uh, they, they there's like a camera angle, like right from the bottom of the floor, like, looking up. <laughs> like, what? Why? <laughs> There's a chance Barry might be here. Yes, yes. Barry. Oh, chill, Barry. Chill. Got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. <laughs> All right then, let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. <laughs> yeah, great, great what idea. I found. What? A can of fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. It's yours. Hopefully you won't have to use it. What? Alright, he says a can of fizz, but he gave us acid what grenade rounds. You? Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Thanks. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. Ugh, just Ciao. stop. Ciao. Ciao. In the, um, in the original version, he goes, I have this. <laughs> and like he makes like such a big deal out of it. Uh We're gonna go through here. Wait, where does this door go to? Hold on, where is the map? Does that button the map? Yeah. I see. Where Can I open this door? No. Lock okay. From the other side. Okay, um That's where we have to go. I see, and then I think that might be... Oh, yeah, right there. Oh, we're golden. We're golden. Perfect. Okay, so we came through this dining hall before. There's a statue here that we can push off that uh, has a jewel. Where's the zombie at? Oh! Uh, there he is. <laughs> God damn it! Still alive, too. All I wanted to do was just get eyes on him. That's all I wanted to do. I didn't... Ugh. This house kind of reminds me of the house in Crimson Peak. In what? Crimson Peak. Uh, just came out with, uh, Loki. Oh, uh, yeah. The, uh, is it Guillermo del Toro movie? I think so, yeah. Oh, can you get that? Yeah, that's what we're doing here. I'm... Let me just make sure the zombie didn't... Okay, cool. All right, so what we're doing is we're going to push this statue off. There's, like, a little break in the railing right here. Right. Can and you use that to kill him in some weird way or not? No. In real life, I'm sure we'd be able to, but... Of course. Purple ammo. Just jump down. Uh, pfft, yeah, right. We got hops. Okay, wait. So we'll get the jewel, and then we'll go through... Yep, okay, we're good. Ball is life, right? Ball is... Well, yeah. See, I've got these uh, Nike socks on just in case one of these zombies want to fuck around and get dunked Dunk on. Dunked yeah. <laughs> Just in case one of these zombies want to catch this crossover. <laughs> I cross over Wesker any day, boy. Well, when he turns into Neo and he's able to have <laughs> night, night crawler teleporting powers. Sorry, though. Alright, so now we can grab this. The blue gemstone. Oh! It's pretty. Uh, you know what? While I'm down here, actually, let me head into here. 
Uh, and there is another room down here I could use the sword key on. Are you right here? Yes, of course you fucking are. Alright, we'll just blast his ass, whatever. Eight shots. Wow. My god. Yeah. Oops, not exam. Wait, what am I doing? What am I? I'm... Oh, come on. Oh. There we go. Still alive. Still awesome. <laughs> awesome. Eight shots. Nice. Ten shots. There it is. Kiss my dick. Can you aim up with it and to shoot him in his head? Will that kill you him You know faster? what? Yes. I think in this, uh, that actually does actually count as more damage. And you might get a headshot. Hmm. Now, that guy's going to turn into a crimson head. I'm pretty much just going to let that happen because I'm not going to be going through this area too much. Okay, so now we're in a very messy kitchen here. Uh, but I'm pretty sure there's, there's like, nothing in here. Pyrex pots, boy. Well, yeah, see, this is where Future was cooking and flipping and whipping, right? Whipping and flipping them yams. Whipping and flipping them yams, okay. Turn a whole brick to a lamb. Wait, does he, do you have something? No. All right, and that's an elevator. Yeah, this room, you know, there's not really much we could do down here. That's a waste. Yep, but this happens. Ooh, I probably should have the shotgun equipped right now. I am... Sometimes I'm a silly boy. We'll just leave it at that. If Jill falls down, I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah. Awesome. Gonna... Oh, it's a regular zombie! Never seen one of those before. Hey, guess what? Bye. Yes, that blew his head off, too. Awesome. Good job. Uh, yeah, I wasn't playing games with him. You know, I'm an idiot. I probably didn't even need to do that. I could have just, like... Well, circled around and yeah, then escaped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had to show off for the camera. Oh boy, here am I wasting these extremely valuable shotgun shells that you really shouldn't waste. Watch him turn into a crimson head right now. Okay, good. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, that, that's pretty much what they sound like. <laughs> Alright, but now I've pretty much handled everything I've wanted to. So now we'll just head up. Um, we're going to use this dog whistle. Which is going to uh, call the this particular dog that has um, an item in its collar. And then I'm going to use the shotgun and I'm going to blow its fucking head off. And uh, from there we can get the armor key. Do you have to do it from her? Particular place, or can you just do it like right now? Yeah, there's um a certain area where this dog will show up. Okay, where's this fucking zombie at? With a knife in his head. He's right there. Okay, that's what I should have did last time. It's like, cause when you press the auto aim, will show um... you. Yeah. Uh, hold on, let me take a look. Cause the room I want to get to is the one right below me. So the door's on the other side. Yeah. Yes, cool, okay. So that is the last use we needed for the sword key. So now we have an extra inventory spot. Um, let's head through here. Lock pick. This is where we can use the uh, dog whistle. So you whistle. Can, you, you can lock pick some doors, but not all. Uh, yeah, there's a few. Mainly, uh, her lock pick is used for... Um, there's like, um, shelves, like little shelves you can use it for. Uh, that might have like some ammo or something. Mm. I'm trying to remember, what was it that, who was using Whistle? Oh, it was the character from Yu Show Ghost Files. Uh, don't tell me your name. Photon. Yo, okay, hold. Oh, yeah. Bot get, get oh. that fucking shotty up. Bot Fuck you. No! I hate dogs! Shoot him! Get off me! Okay. What's our health doing? We're in caution. Okay, I'm gonna use the handgun for the rest as of this. As soon as you- you gotta shoot. As soon as it clicks back over, you gotta shoot. Man. You know what? Alright, yeah. He's gonna hit me, that's fine. Oh! Uh. 
I'm gonna go ahead and heal. <laughs> then we heal. Oh, the dogs! Just shoot them. It's, I gotta, I'm like, the reason dogs are so annoying in this game is because when they're, they've are they got you like that, you're like locked in that animation and you can't like shoot it. Okay, but this, we've done it successfully. Kind I'm gonna go ahead and just use these up because we're not gonna be coming back here. So do you even need to do the whistle thing? I just did. Oh. Um, what the whistle does is it called that dog that had this collar. And now, remember, we had that note. Yeah, it was in the collar. Yep. Yeah. And we're able to pull out this little coin right here. And then it's not a coin. Of course, it is actually a... Armor key. But it's not even an armor key. It's actually an imitation of an armor key. Ooh. Okay. So where's the real one? Uh, there is a trap where that's actually the last thing we're gonna do. We're gonna go over to this uh, trap. Trap house. <laughs> the bando. How did you know we were going to the trap house? The bando. Have you been listening to Jeezy? Uh, no, actually. Ah, uh, yeah. Discard that dog whistle. I've been listening to Future. Actually. I'm sorry. That stick talk. That stick talk. He's talking about fucking. No. Gun talk. Hit a lick. Rob somebody. You know. You know. All of the day's work. Oh, yes. <laughs> Alright, where are you at, Sam Bambo? Okay, cool. Uh, okay. So, even though I've got, I got hit a million times today by, uh, dogs, we, we actually did quite good. Okay, so let me see here. I need to go... The right of the red. There's a bunch of zombies in here that I want to avoid. Hopefully the crimson head doesn't also appear. That's... Okay, this door is locked, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Ooh. God. <sighs> Fuck. No, we're good. We're good. Hey. Okay, there's another zombie around here. You should be able to grab one of those and use it. That'd be dope. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, this guy's a crimson head. If he gets up right now, I'm scared. Oh. Oh, <laughs> thank, thank God you made it through the door. <laughs> okay, so now um, it, this is the last thing we're doing for today. And it's a good thing because you're going to throw your hands up. Okay. So this is the real armor key. Pretty. Let me show you what happens when we pick the armor key up and how this makes no sense. Oh, it said, hold on, wait, wait. I wanna, what is that? Whoever finds this finds death. Find peace in death. All what? right, so basically, whoever picks this up, you're gonna die. Find peace in death? That makes no sense. It's a trap? Yep. <laughs> Uh, so that's why we have the imitation of a key, because then we can put that back in there. And now oh. we have the real armor key. Mm. Yeah, a very convoluted bullshit-ass trap, though. <laughs> mm. Oh, boy. Resident Evil, great, huh? Yeah. Armor key. <laughs> All right, so the crimson head... Wait, wait, let me take a look at the map. Um, I am immediately, yeah, okay, I see. I got it, I got it. Watch this, watch this. So there's a door right across from us. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna run through this hall and probably have to encounter this crimson head. Nah, hell nah. Peace, motherfucker. I don't know, where'd he go? Uh, cause remember how that's like Is a it, long oh, yeah, winding. To, to the left. Yeah. yeah. So he teleported away. Of course. Dogs? Uh, looks like a, maybe a crow flew in. Yeah, there's crows up there. I saw them. Uh, but crows aren't really much of a concern as long as you keep moving. Like, if you just, like... Like, if I stopped and tried to shoot them, there would be problems. Yeah. But if we keep it moving, hunted. All right, this guy might also be getting ready to turn into a... You can usually tell by his feet. 
you see how his feet are like whitish, like pale? <laughs> that means he's not about to turn into a crimson head. No, I couldn't, didn't even notice. Okay. Couldn't even see his head neither, but. Um, like his ankles, his, <laughs> just, you know, just pretend he's Ashy Larry, really. <laughs> <laughs> I can pick this up. Uh, you know, because Ashy Larry, you know, his ankles, you know, they're very ashy. Yeah, yeah, so these zombies, just pretend they're all Ashy Larry. But once they turn into a crimson head and they're laying on the ground there, it goes from, you know, ashy to classy, for example. And uh, his <laughs> his ankles are red. These are top shelf. Uh, <laughs> top shelf references yeah, here. <laughs> okay, so I just want to make it back over. Uh, it doesn't matter. We'll just go through here. Um, there is a save point right next to this room with the dog whistle. Now that we got our armor key, we're going to head back there. Where see, you at? I see you have a compass on your map. Like, do you use that at all? Or wait, wait, let, wait, let me see. What are you, where are you talking about? Up top, there? Yeah, top left. Well, I think that's more of, oh, no. I, I see what you mean. Now, I, I'll be honest, I never even really noticed it that much. Uh, I don't really have, uh, uh, I want this door. No, I don't, um, have any use for it. Mm. Okay, so there's... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Zombies are coming through there. So let me not... You can burst open the door? Yep. Uh, this actually happens where they come through the door. There might be a zombie... Yeah, right here. But he can't grab me. He's just gonna throw up. Is he gonna do it? Can I wanna see... Show us to throw up. Is he gonna throw up something good or something, or...? He's gonna throw up acid. What? All right, well, he's not going to do it, so fuck him. Ooh. We don't have time. Listen, I'm, you know, Jill is a busy, independent woman who don't need no man, and she don't need to wait for no man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a little boosty song, uh, independent. Wait, is there anything in here? No, there's not. Okay, someone's going to go ahead and drop a save. I make myself laugh. Isn't that all that matters? Um... Yes. There you have it, peeps. Yes. <laughs>